As the Red Army advanced into Germany from the east, Himmler ordered the evacuation of the concentration camps that, led, that lay in its path. And also, of course, as the Allies came in from the west, a similar happened thing with a smaller number of camps around there. Here's uh, a map showing uh, some of these uh, strange, often rather aimless marches. The SS uh, marched the inmates out, shooting stragglers, sometimes massacring whole groups. The rest of the inmates are weakened by disease and malnutrition. Many did not survive. Of the 715,000 prisoners in the camps at the beginning of 1945, half were dead by the middle of the year. Many of the marches ended at the collection camp of, of Berg and Belsen. This is a, um, a, a photograph of a death, so-called death march from Dachau taken secretly from a, a window of a house in one of the villages that they marched through. Uh, ending up at Berg and Belsen, their numbers overwhelmed the facilities. Thousands died while the SS commandant stood idly by. Still obsessed with the example of 1918, the so-called st stab in the back, Hitler now ordered a number of prominent prisoners to be killed, including former Communist Party leader Ernst Thälmann and members of the resist resistance such as Admiral Canaris and Dietrich Bonhoeffer. A large group, including the former army chief, Franz Halder, himself involved in the bomb plot, former French Prime Minister Leon Blum, the Austrian ex-Chancellor Kurt Schuschnigg and many others were taken to the Alps in April 1945 to be shot, but were rescued by the intervention of the local army commander. The chaos was heightened by the growing influx of German refugees from the east, numbered in February 1945 at more than 8 million, cold, hungry, dragging their possessions with them, as you can see here, on lorries or carts, looking for somewhere to stay. With complete mastery of the skies, British and American bombers roamed ever further across Germany, bombing at will. In February 1945, they destroyed the Baroque city of Dresden. In a massive firestorm, shown from an aerial photograph here, that took more than 30,000 lives. The progress of the Allied armies on the ground was slow. The Germans holding the inside lines, fighting to defend their own soil. The faster they lost, uh, 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 but um, the more they advanced, uh, the uh, uh, fewer resources were available to the German forces. So as Germany shrank, as it were, the whole process speeded up because there were simply fewer, uh, fewer supplies, less ammunition, and so on and so forth. Uh, and of course, uh, they began to lose cohesion. Germany's allies <coughs> began to desert the Third Reich in 1944. In a desperate attempt to secure Hungary's oil supplies, Hitler occupied the country, ousting the longtime authoritarian leader, Miklos Horthy. It wasn't just oil, however, that Hitler wanted. Even at this late stage, uh, he had tried several times to persuade Horthy to hand over the country's large Jewish population. And now in the summer and autumn of 1944, Adolf Eichmann and the SS arrived in the wake of the German armed forces <clears throat> and sent more than 400,000 Hungarian Jews to their death in Auschwitz, where you see them arriving here. Uh, the occupation of Hungary <clears throat> did little to halt the inexorable advance of the Red Army. The Russian soldiers' anger with the Germans, both military and civilian, was already deep and bitter as a result of the sufferings and losses the Russians had endured in the years since the German invasion in 1941. And it became incandescent when they discovered the killing centers of Majdanek and Auschwitz. Reaching Germany, they marveled at its wealth. Why had they invaded Russia when they lived in such comfort at home? We will take revenge, one Russian soldier uh, was reported as saying as he crossed into East Prussia in January 1945. Revenge for all our sufferings. There's the famous photograph here <coughs> of uh, the red flag being raised uh, on the, on the rice tags, at least a posed picture. <coughs> Looting and requisitioning were as much a part of Soviet policy as they'd been of German policy earlier on. The Americans discovered, for example, that 80% of industrial machinery in Berlin was taken off to the Soviet Union by the time they arrived. Individual soldiers also looted wristwatches of favored prize. There were also radios, bicycles, almost anything movable. By the middle of May 1945, 20,000 railway wagons of loot were waiting at Kursk to be unloaded for posting to soldiers' homes. The Russian troops also unleashed a systematic campaign of rape against German women, who now formed the great majority of the civilian population on the home front. The number of victims is uncertain. There's little doubt it ran into 
hundreds of thousands, may even have exceeded a million. 